Hello, hello again and welcome back to another small tutorial. And this time I will tell you how you can fix the loose lens hood in uh, Carl Zeiss uh, Sona 2.8 180mm and a T-Star. It's for the uh, Contax Jessica. So uh, let's have a look inside. You see <coughs> The, um, the lens hood and this nice old lens uh, is actually a bit loose it will say it it comes out too uh, easy so when I have it face like that and I turn it over it the lens hood will just fall down not fall off but just fall down and uh, it will of course fall back into the lens itself <laughs> So it's a bit annoying. <clears throat> so how to fix that? Well, we need some. I mean, we need some tools. In this case, I will use some de dentist tool, my uh, P800 modified um, to JIS or something like that. I know it's not a JIS, but it works fine. <clears throat> you could also buy. GIS tools, uh, crosshead screws, screwdrivers, or just modify a good uh, crosshead screwdriver by filing off the, the very sharp tip. Okay, we need some rubber tool. This is a 70 or 70, <coughs> 7.2 millimeter uh, diameter. That is good to take off the nameplate and of course the uh, the main the uh, front lens group. <coughs> now uh, we could, if it's uh, too tight of the uh, to take out the front lens group, if it's too tight, one could use a um, lens tool, lens spinner tool. One would say. <coughs> And we also need some replacement of the the uh, strip in here. I will be back later on. Um, that actually makes the tight fit. But well, let's have a look inside. The strip itself is actually 235 millimeters long and is three millimeter wide okay uh, you can get them on i mean you can get the black velour uh, on www.d-c-fix.com <clears throat> and it's called velour velour <laughs> and uh, it's called deco for decorating things. I'll just keep it here so you can remember. <clears throat> and my copyright is here. I could just move it down here or where. But keep that in mind. Well, but let's have a look inside. We um, to get the lens hood <clears throat> assembly uh, you need to take off the nameplate itself and then the the uh, front lens group. So the um, the lens rubber tool here you can get on eBay or Amazon. It's very good. I have just modified the inner here because the curve of the front lens is uh, too much. <clears throat> so if I uh, was try to unscrew it or screw it in, the lens, the front lit lens uh, element is just be in contact with this uh, area here so I just cut a bit away with a with a uh, sharp knife and then just cut it away it's just pretty easy well let's go inside I will turn the the nameplate counterclockwise it can sit a bit tight so <clears throat> yeah comes and it's not that hard 
and off it comes here nothing special about that uh, there I mean there was no mark of they are using some thread lock so it should be fine <clears throat> on the other hand um, the front lens group was a bit tight so I um, I used a bit some uh, nail polish remover or acetone one could use what they had so um, so just use some uh, acetone on a cotton bud and then dip it on the edge of the the thread here it's not a problem here because I've already been to it if the um, if the front lens group still is pretty too tight to unscrew with the lens rubber tool one could use a uh, <coughs> lens spanner this is just a compass which I have filed and grind so it can be used for that task so just put it in be careful of the glass element but just put it on here there and there and then just have a good grip and unscrew it so I mean, there's no idea of unscrew the 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 lens group with the lens spinner. Just loosen it, and then use the the rubber tool to unscrew the rest of it. And it's it's actually pretty easy. And when it says something like you, it's fully unscrew it then have a finger here have a good uh, hand of the lens and then keep your pinky finger here and that then, then flip the uh, lens over and let the lens group just fall into your hand and have a good grip on it each side of it now here we can see the front lens group how it is and why it's it's very good with the rubber tool because it's have a really good contact it on it so now that's it <clears throat> the next step is just fully close the aperture I mean so not too much dust come in there's still a lot of dust in and other things <laughs> that have to be removed in this lens so by um, taking off the the lens hood assembly there's three screws one there there and there and um, if they are a bit tight on the um, have a tight fit you can use uh, nail polish remover or just acetone and just dip into and when it's done it should be possible to unscrew the it was not that tight in this lens and uh, it's good with a magnetized uh, screwdriver crosshead And uh, just one thing, I just set a mark here because uh, I do not have a repair manual, service manual for this lens, so uh, I need to know exactly where things sit before I disassemble it. Now, the last screw <coughs> so, and then it's possible just to take out the whole front lens hood assembly and this is how it looks inside so put the <coughs> lens itself away and then we are here with the 
the hood. <laughs> so you can see it's simply too, yeah, too loose. No matter what I do, <clears throat> it will all always go one or the other way. <laughs> so how to come it to into it? Well, there is a lock ring here around that sits in a, a notch around the uh, the back of here, the side here, and you just uh, gently uh, draw very little, and uh, you could have a finger here on one side, and then draw and lift at the same time, like this, and uh, just move around, and it's free. Now, <clears throat> then it's possible to just take it out. You see, one thing, there is a thin, small rubbering around here. And uh, it sits there because <clears throat> it will not, when the front lens uh, hood, the outer, Hood, goes out it will not say bang it has a more silent uh, when it stops now the um, <clears throat> the uh, yeah what do you say the stuff here is uh, a bit worn out there is not really much resistance in the in the tube <clears throat> So I need to replace it with something else, and it would be the velour. So I cut them in 235 millimeter, and the width, the white, is three millimeter. <clears throat> I do not pull off the uh, the back, the wax paper. It and uh, it will still be on. <clears throat> And one would say, ah, it you you, you have to use the adhes self adhesive uh, back part and um, attach it to here. But there's no idea because the thickness of this one is actually very good for this. <clears throat> Even I have tried on the uh, on the other of my lens, the Sona. 135 and I've done exactly the same and you see there is no movement but a very good and it's a bit tight like it should be so it will not fall down or fall in so this is how it will work <coughs> after this uh, repair uh, the hard thing is to get the uh, the old sticky uh, velour or whatever it is. I used my uh, dentist spade here, which is really good. One could use a piece of wood or something like that, because the tape is really annoying. You see, it's not that good. But in this case, I can just scrape it off, something here, and it will go all the way around. Just to scrape it. So, I could just, just use, do so. So it's a bit, um, yeah, not really good any longer. So I can just take the rest of it. <clears throat> There's no idea to take off the whole thing because uh, it it will just stick to the to the new back here, which will be really good, and it will act like act like a um, a self adhesive tape. 
So <clears throat> it is there. And one could just put the new thing on, the new cloth below. <clears throat> and it fits actually perfect in the in the groove here. Just uh, put it gently into the groove and all the way around here. You see it's a bit longer. Well that's for uh, it was on purpose I did it so I could just cut well in this case around well yeah five millimeter away so it be because the outer diameter is a big this is a bit bigger <clears throat> should just cut it away and then put it into the groove and then there it is <clears throat> and we could just try to put it in here and see how it will go you can see all <clears throat> Right now it's much better, but of course I will do it on the um, <clears throat> on the inside here, uh, so I will also remove that and get rid of it. And it's the same process, but just to be careful of the edge, not to uh, damage the aluminium too much. <clears throat> In my uh, 135 millimeter it was hmm, it was a bit annoying to take out but this one seems to be dried out completely <laughs> amazing and so it is there's not much adhesive glue on this <laughs> on this uh, strip so really not good any longer and um, just take it away using a just an old t-shirt which is really good <clears throat> and there <clears throat> we actually ready to put in the uh, the new strip here into this group groove <laughs> and uh, just put it on there's still some glue or whatever it is but it, it will stay in the groove as you can see here and of course I will just cut a well let's say around three four millimeters off maybe not that much to the end here I know it's difficult to see in the because it's so dark this one you can see it's not it's it's too long so I will just cut a bit off my scissor here. It's not that important how much. I mean, it should just fit fine. But if I cut that away, that much away, I would guess it would it would be fine. But you begin with a uh, 235 millimeter. In my opinion. And you see the the back of the the wax paper is still it's stiff enough so it will stay in here into the groove something like that and it's fine so one just have to be <clears throat> careful when putting back the um, the outer lens hood to the inner lens hood so if you have put a, a finger on here 
where they, the two ends is and <clears throat> doing the same here on the inner just put it on and remember if you have taken off the the tiny rubber ring here you have to put it on again well it could be it damaged but of course so you see put it on here and uh, it's the inner I mean the outer of the um, of the velour strip that gum that uh, attached to the uh, inner tube first and then the the inner strip will later come on to the I mean pressing on the outer so now it's actually done and you see it actually works really good in this case <clears throat> but hold on a second there's something wrong here <laughs> one have to remember which direction it's put in and I was wrong here so we do it again it of course has to be that way something like that because this is the front where the um, where the nameplate is screwed into so it has to fit like that <laughs> sorry for that uh, it will be well it will be the same yeah sure so it is and then the lock ring comes on and so it says click and there it is and here we are and you can see <clears throat> it will stop here and the strip will still be in here it was there for it fooled me <laughs> myself yeah it happens just a human so now it's ready to put in and the mark I said <clears throat> before I disassemble it it will be here and um, it will also be here <clears throat> on the lens hood so I just have to put it in here and attach it here <clears throat> and then screw it in there's no need for using any thread lock here well one could go do it but uh, I mean it's not heavy stuff then the second screw I will make another video of uh, how to clean the lens element in this lens so um, I do not make that much out of it of thread locks and so so now it's time to put in the uh, the lens group the front lens group which is a bit dusty inside and again I will just use my uh, rubber tool and uh, just put it so and then put the lens over and gently put it in and going backwards unscrew until it says click so there then I catch my uh, thread and then it's just to screw the uh, lens group into the lens buddy and uh, just tighten it it will be tight enough when using the lens tool 
So there is no really <clears throat> use of the, uh, I mean, it's just if you want to really tighten it too much, you maybe have to unscrew it sooner to clean the lens element in here. So the nameplate goes on here and again catch the thread and then just use the rubber tool again so that was actually that <clears throat> and though the uh, the lens would have the the good tight fit still can move it but it will not fall out itself even if I shake it so and it's really good and it will not go in even if I gently shake it so that's really good so uh, that was now all for now so hope you can use the information and probably do it the same with your lens or other that have a built-in lens hood. I don't, I don't know if they are made the same way, but well, hopefully. So that's all for now. Bye bye.